<laughs> We're joined he now. He dealt with that. Yeah, he sure did. He shut it down real fast. So we're bringing in FS1 NBA analyst Chris Broussard. What do you think about this beef between these two guys? Do you think it's going to affect this team moving forward? Well, we're talking about this year. Because yeah. the f past this year, KD's gone. Period. The end. He's <laughs> gone. And it's beyond... You know, we know before this even happened, he was most likely leaving. Correct. It was just a matter of when. Uh, and it's beyond even what Draymond said in this whole argument. There also is this, and it was similar to LeBron when he was his last year in Miami. It's tough to be somewhere where they feel like they saved you. Mm -hmm. He knows in Golden State, they feel like we saved you. They don't have to say it. They've joked about it, but... The, you wouldn't have these rings if you if it wasn't for us. And he's saying, I played a pretty big role in those rings too. Yeah. And so that's the underlying feeling of KD also wanting to leave on top of some of these other issues. They, as far as this season, they have two major things going for them. One, they're obviously just a great team. I mean, that that this may not even be able to to derail them. And both these guys, KD and Draymond, are entirely committed to winning another ring. Draymond's legacy is winning. His legacy is not like Steph's or KD's or LeBron's where it's going to be great individual numbers and in right. play. It's championships. Right. And he already knows he may have cost them one. So he's totally all in. I, that's my legacy, mm -hmm. being a winner. KD wants three rings in three years. That's a heck of a... An achievement. That's better than when LeBron went to Miami and got two and four. So he wants that. The second thing they have going for him, it's November. You have four, five, six months to work this out. And we know it's true. It's a cliche, but time heals all wounds. So even, look, with the things Draymond said to KD, I don't think their relationship will ever be, be the, the same. same. I don't think it'll ever be the same. And even if they can never really be real friends again, they've got five months to learn how to play as business partners, you know, where it's no longer we Our real cool and we're personal. They have five months. I, this is the one red flag for this season. With Golden State, their, their strength has always been their chemistry, their camaraderie, their atmosphere. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that attracted KD to that. No egos. They have fun. They're playing mm -hmm. music during practice. You know, that's one of the things that attracted them. And remember, before KD got there, their model was strength in numbers. How will, if these two don't get it together personally, how will they react as a team? Not just those two, but Steph, Clay, the whole dynamic. Will it be changed from this fun atmosphere? And can they thrive when it's more of a just, let's just get this championship, mm -hmm. let's just take care of business. So mm. I think they can, they'll work it out. I feel strongly about that. But that's a red flag that I see. I think I've always felt there's an 85% chance that Kevin Durant was going to leave. I think this was probably the nail in, in, in the coffin to, to assure that was going to happen. I'm not so sure, given how they treated him. I mean, he's uh, uh, appealing the, the suspension skip, the $120,000 that he lost. But I don't know how that, Draymond that's, stays. That's I interesting. I don't know how Draymond stays. Yeah. After knowing. Mm -hmm. Well, he's, they've got a, lot, a long time right. to work it out with him. Yeah. You know, he's got the extra This years. is why I went out of my way not to get into a yelling match or a confrontation with a teammate because it becomes very uncomfortable. Very, very uncomfortable, Skip. And I know you're like, okay, we this is for the betterment of the team. But nah, bro, you made it personal. Because you brought things in here, you might think, and we think a lot of things. Right. You can't prove that I'm thinking this. But once you say it, Draymond just did all of a sudden in this moment, Skip. Oh, yeah, by the way, I've always made plays. Oh, by the way, da-da-da, we won without you. That didn't just happen at that moment. He been thinking about that, and he wanted a way to say it. KD just gave him a way to say it by saying, bro, give me the ball. Game three of the first finals, Y'all ain't have no problem giving me the ball. Game three of last year in the final, you ain't have... Steph and Clay couldn't buy a shot. Mm -mm. Draymond, you couldn't buy a shot. I kept us close, and then I won it at the end. Ain't nobody have a problem with you passing me the ball. Now I ask for the ball, and you go... I, I was making plays before you got here. KD gone. KD not forgetting this. Like, I, I, and I agree. I believe they can put it past them. I believe outside of an injury, no one is beating this team four times in two weeks. 
But uh, no, nah, it's never good. They they never their relationship will never be the same. Mm. And like I said, he was gonna leave, mm. but it'd be very very interesting because I think Kevin Durant makes them unbeatable in the finals. Without KD, they're beatable. Because I believe I believe had they not had KD the first time around, Cleveland would have got them, and Cleveland would have got them again last year. You I know mean, that I know that. I don't know that. But I know that. But I'll, I'm not going to completely discount that. Okay, let's say with Kyrie, with Kevin Love, mm-hmm. if KD is not there, the, uh, uh, the first year KD left, they're not beating Cleveland. That's why they went and got KD. Mm-hmm. So, this is all why, to me, the guy who should be gone right now is Draymond Green. He's expendable in this equation. I know he does a lot of little valuable glue things for mm-hmm. this team. I'm going to remind everybody again, DeMarcus Cousins is on ice for January. I I assume he's going to be okay, but I don't know how okay he's going to be. He is a seven-footer who can pass the basketball and rebound the basketball so he could fill a lot of the boxes. He could check a lot of the boxes that Draymond often checks. And score if need be. He he can really score if need be. (laughs) And I could argue they'd be at least as good with him, if not better. So, to me... I don't, you said period, end of story that Kevin is gone. I don't know that for a fact because I don't think Kevin at this moment knows that for a fact. He's as sensitive or oversensitive a, a superstar as I've ever sort of been around or heard about. Right. Or he, knew tried to follow. he knew it as two days ago. Knew what? He leave it. Maybe, <laughs> but, but depending on what happens with Draymond and how all this sorts itself out, and then depending on the outcome at the end of the year, I'm not sure he's leaving if Draymond is cleared from the decks. And, if again, c- could they trade him sooner than later? I-, I think they could. Trade Draymond. Yeah, because he's becoming more trouble than he's worth. Here's the thing with trading and Draymond. And, one, I don't think they'll, they'll even think about that. But Draymond, as great as he is on the Warriors, most teams know. They don't like, him like that. You know what I mean? Like, he's not the guy that's going to go okay. somewhere and be the man. Right. It's, it's the system. It's the teammates. Mm-hmm. He's perfect for that team and with all the baggage. So now I've got a Draymond Green who's not as good as he was on the Warriors, right. not as valuable, and then I still have to deal with him going off and okay. blowing up and, and all, all right. that stuff. Steph and Clay can handle that. Steph, okay. they used I got to it. I do not believe it can be fixed between Kevin and Draymond. I believe the bridge is burned completely to the ground to where – Can they achieve – remember, Steph's not there, so let's see how Steph can come in and help mediate this a little bit. But can Kevin and Draymond achieve some sort of uneasy truce or barely peaceful coexistence like you're suggesting the rest of the way? Maybe, but let them lose two in a row. Let Kevin have a bad shooting night. I just – I know too much about him. It will bubble back to the surface, and it will boil over because now Yahoo is reporting that the exchange on the bench went – Draymond telling Kevin, we don't need you. We won without you. Leave. Whoa. Okay? But that's yeah, where... That, 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 that's deep, man. Hey, that's Chris, where, that's deep. But you know you that's where it was You're heading. daring him. Yeah, okay. You're daring. You're daring him. And that's beyond calling him multiple times right. the B word, yeah. which for me, man to man, that's just a bridge. But that's game over. Like, you can't take it back. You can't get over it. But, but the thing is, is that, like, like, and Kevin Durant's brother says, is like in the motion, I... I, I can't uh, mm-hmm. remember verbatim what he said. He said, true colors are revealed. True colors. The moment KD accepted his call, the moment KD decided to, to come to Golden State, what did you think Draymond thought of you? Right. That's so what you everybody... think he, he was feeling? Even yeah. as I'm going to benefit from your presence, I don't respect it. Because everybody said, what person you know? Skip, they beat. You had them 3-1. You had them down. The dude calls you. How many times have you told the story? He's in the parking yeah. lot. Yeah. You say he's near tears calling Kevin Durant. We, 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 <clears throat> so he's the first. We, 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 well, and here's the thing. Think about what, what you said. It's all It's been there in Draymond. This yeah. didn't just. As wrong as KD was, I believe, for going off on Draymond, because it was. Draymond can make plays, right. you know, and it, it wasn't worth all that. Right. That also wasn't worth what Draymond said right. to KD. Like, just that yes. made you go off in that regard. So, uh, here's where I disagree with you, Skip. Uh, and I disagree that they should trade Draymond. I also, 
I have my reservations about, I don't think Boogie could do what Draymond does. We know he wouldn't do it defensively. Right, right. We know he wouldn't do it defensively. And that's huge for the Warriors because they don't have, you know, rim protectors and all that stuff. The only thing he is is he's seven feet tall. He is seven feet tall. And I just think offensively, too, look, he's a great individual player. But Draymond does the little things, moves that ball quickly. Mm -hmm. Uh, DeMarcus doesn't do that. DeMarcus doesn't run the floor. I mean, Draymond is in large part their point guard. DeMarcus is not – DeMarcus might want to be that, but that's not going to be good for them if he's bringing the ball up and stuff like that. So – Draymond doesn't need the ball. Draymond doesn't care if he scores two points, a zero point. Boogie. Well, he cared one night in Oklahoma City at halftime on a Saturday night game. Remember that when he went totally Well, Steve Kerr Kerr was upset because he killed Marcia Three. Steve Kerr said, I don't mind you shooting the ball. Just stop shooting 25-foot three-pointers. He's challenging everybody in the locker room, especially the head coach, to a fight at halftime. Remember? Yeah. 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 But we're going to talk about this a little later. We got to play for you, KD. We respect mm. you. Mm. We have the utmost respect for you, KD. I think you good is people, KD. Ba- Listen, what we saw last night, and I realize it's only mid-November. That was a troubled basketball team. That was a team oh, they that were was troubled. drained no of its energy and its emotion. No and Kevin was drained, and they had a little exchange late in the game, or it was actually early in the yeah. third quarter. But but actually, Kevin was nicely chiding Draymond for a double dribble that was a similar play to bring the ball up, you know, against right, 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 the Clippers. Right. Here's the thing, and, and I don't know what Draymond said to KD privately, but in his public statement, which was solid, he didn't apologize. He did not. He did not right? no. I mean, he basically yeah. said, I am who and I right, am. Right, right. And my thing is, Chris, you can, look, you, we've had an emotional. I ain't got no problem. You can be emotional. But, bro, how you talk to someone, you can't talk to that. Mm-hmm. See, KD, you being nice. He should have, if he really, the best thing for him to do. Now, if he didn't mean it, I, I respect. If you don't want to say it, don't say it. But if he had come out, look, man, we need KD. We yeah, all know like we need that. KD. Right. I, yeah. I get it. I was just yeah. emotional. I was upset. He had gone at me. We need Kevin Durant as much as we need anybody mm-hmm. on this team. He is a great You know, that's what I he should have said. He, <laughs> he said no one man's bigger than this, right. this team. You and he what? said if anybody leaves, Clay, KD, whoever, so be it. That's yeah. their choice. Hey, okay? the, and the thing is, for me, the way Skip, the way I have any situation now, I get into a dis- disagreement. I say before I say something or you say something mm-hmm. that we're going to regret, let's just go ahead and end it. Mm. Let's just go ahead and stop it. Because I know how I am. Because mm. when you get into an argument, you get mad, Skip, what do you do? Yeah. What, what's the thing that I can say that can hurt you? He knew that was going to hurt Kate. You call that man a B for coming to join you 73 and 9. He knew that's going to bother him. Oh, we don't need you, bro. We won before you got here. Why are you over there bumping him? <laughs> so, Chris, you're saying KD, he gone. Oh, he's out. He gone. He's gone. KD! He's gone.